I got money now. Ah, yeah, I'ma holler at y'all. Yo, what's up, Wiz? Hey, bring it down, baby. Hey, yo, check this out, man. This is a joyous occasion live from Atlanta, Georgia, man. It's your boy, Jack Thriller. I put on for my city. And today, I got on the show, Hot Boy Time. I like them hot. Yo. The ones that don't tell me to stop. Come on, man. What's happening? What's happening? Hey, when you said that, I like the ones that don't tell me to stop. Yeah. Uh, yo, it. You 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 uh you been on it for a long time. Been on it. Been a you freak. You been on the secret. Been the a freak. secret is been a freak. Like who like you. Yeah, yeah. You got to love who like you and love you. <laughs> yeah. 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 And it ain't. It, you know what I, I I noticed inside. You know, trying um well, being famous. Mm -hmm. It ain't no point in chasing somebody that ain't fucking with you. Nah, for what? Even inside, like when you ain't famous. Yeah. You know, it ain't no point in chasing a woman that don't that you gotta convince that you that nigga. Hey man, they don't know, man. Hey man, move on to the one that do. Yeah, cause it's they gonna young, appreciate you. They gonna appreciate you, man. They gonna try to appreciate you after the fact, though, when they see somebody else then got what they should have had. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't never appreciate it sometimes until it's gone. You know what I'm saying? Then you realize it's a good thing. You know. So you know, I just had like two, two like people that I loved, you know what I'm saying? And that was my first baby mama and my wife now. So everybody else, it just was like, ah, da, 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 you know what I'm saying? So I'm probably one of the lucky ones, man, to really like know what I wanted, you know, got what I want now, you know what I'm saying? And bam, man, everything else is just lovely, man. You know, no problems in my life, you feel me? No baby mama drama, no wife drama, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I picked the right path, you feel me? Hey, I think I did. What's the? Yeah. What What's the chances of you making a perfect situation and moving your first baby mama in with your new baby mama? M moving my baby mama in with my second baby mama? Yeah. Oh, that ain't perfect. <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't gonna work. No, that ain't gonna work. That ain't. That ain't gonna work. You know what? When yeah, I hey, let, you, let me tell you, you, let me try, tell you something. Yeah. Let me tell you something, right? right. Now, when I was in jail, we used to be on some freaky, freaky shit, right? <laughs> My wife gonna be mad, but she gonna be, she gonna laugh, cause it's the truth, and telling the truth, not hating. It, it so, you, you know, free. so when I used to be in jail, right, we used to have all these little fantasies. You know, we used to be role playing. She'll be like the, 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 the I'll be the, um, um, she'll be the male lady. I'll be the one that's receiving the mail. She coming in, and you know, we acting like, you know, we having sex in the role playing all that. And my biggest fantasy was to have her and another female. And she was cool with it. But when I came home, that shit went out the door. I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I think she was psyching me up when I was in jail. And I was, I'm talking about, boy, you know, when you're in jail, you be a freak, bro. You be a freak. You be, a, I know I was in jail Man, for three days. You, three. <laughs> I was in there for three days, nigga. You know, that hey, shit was the hey, longest time, the hard, hey, hard time. Hey, when I came home, that shit was over with, man, you know. But when you in that motherfucker, man, everything, it's like, I, I think... She just play along with the fantasy that go on, bro. Cause I didn't did a lot of a lot of freaking shit with my girl, man. Mm. When I was in that place, bro. I'm talking about getting mail. You ain't never got mail with a circle around the nut, the cum. You, I need to explain. It. Yeah. All right. Okay. So look. If you don't mind. So man. not. Nah, nah, nah. When you in jail, you get real, real creative. Okay. And um, she used to write, you know what I'm saying? I used to write. And we used to try to keep it funky, you know what I'm saying? I ain't wrote in a long time. You know, so we writing, and while we role playing, I just one day was like, man, go ahead on and um, smear it on the paper. You know, smear it on the paper. Got, I see so you, I, when you oh. smear it on the paper, but, but first time she smeared it on the paper, I ain't know where it was at. So the second time she get it, she did out like circle where you smeared it at. So when I got it, 
I'm licking the paper and shit, you know what I'm saying? That was the closest I could have got. <laughs> That's the closest I could have got. You know, you got to get real creative. You when know you the mailman up, hand was on that too. And I'm, I'm thinking about that. I was I know you focused were. on that circle. Man, come on, bro. I had 22. You know, you know how many hands your mail had. I didn't had think about that. Yeah. I'm just saying it's the craziest stuff. It was hands and pussy on that mail. Man. Well, I wasn't thinking about nobody hand because I was trying to get a taste of what it tastes like. I got it. I got it. You and know? your imagination was right where it needed and to be to get you through that time. Because so, that's all you got. That's all you that's got. That's all you yeah. got. Yeah. So a strong mind, you know, like like if if you can if you can uh, if you can what they say if you can um believe it you can believe achieve it, it you can achieve it. Yeah. And I believe that and I achieve it. If you can it. conceive it. Conceive it. You can believe it. it you can achieve, achieve it. it. And I, yeah. I, I see got what you it. did. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I bet you I'm not the only one that then did something like that. Yeah. When you locked up, you got to get creative, bro. Yeah. I yeah. done did a lot of shit with my girl, man. Mm, mm, mm. Bro, I had to get creative, man. Yeah. Like, you know. And the, we, we, we made it work. Eight year, eight months, 16 days. She ain't go nowhere. She ain't, they don't, that's that's always been amazing to me, that whole situation. I got a secret for that too. Can you they, see? That's what you need to write a book about: how to keep your woman in jail, faithful you. to you. Now, nah. and, and then can, can I say something? I mean it with all due respect to. Go ahead. Yo, your lady bad. She bad. Like she ain't like. She not no bad. She bad. She bad. She bad. She like I brought my lady around your lady, <laughs> yeah. and I was. But you really loved her. And without cause you why, did because you represent. Why would when I do you, it? When a man represent a woman, he really love her. Because really some men her. like try to hide their woman. Do it again. But Do it again. You, but when you put them in the front, like on a, like you showing, look, this we was is on the same woman. Instagram picture. That's that's love. Yeah, we was on the same Instagram picture. Cause how many how many dudes tell these women, I, I'm I'm protecting you. I don't want nobody to really see you because Bruh, I'm out here. I that, get it now. I get it now. But dog, I I wanted everybody to know. This is who I'm with. Thanks. I was shouting it from the rooftop. I got rid of all my proud. hoes. You was proud. You were proud of that moment. I bro. was so. Hey, bro. You know. Do you know how hard it was to get my hoes back after we had got a divorce? And you had some hoes. I had some hoes. I, I had. Hey, dog. I got. I got a, a famous flex on your ass yeah. too. A super famous R&B singer. I'm. I'm talking about. She, she legendary. Yeah. And whatnot. And. We would, would I like. I, I should have married her. I think you told me one of them. Um, one of them. Um, not her. N uh, that not, was another one. That's an, okay. Yeah, I had another one. Mm -hmm. I had another one. Like, like, yeah. yeah. Hey, I, they, 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 they in love with Jack, Jack. Hey, dog, I'm, I'm a, I'm a really, really lovable guy. Yeah, you eat good cat. I eat good cat, booty hole, <laughs> all that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I make great breakfast. Ooh, I know how to goddamn make your eggs and scramble, not scramble running. Egg. I cut that sausage down the middle and whatnot and fry that motherfucker. Ooh, that seasoning, that, that, the fresh, that, that, that I like them hot seasoning gonna be good with I that like breakfast. Hot. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah. You yeah. hear me? Hey, like that? He said he like to cook, ladies. Yeah. Breakfast. I, nah, that's to start your morning. To start your morning. Ooh. Hey, I, hey, hey, listen, I, I, this is this one girl I'm telling you about right now. She married now. I hope she get a divorce. You want her? And, and I still want her to this day. How and, long was you with her? Uh, we were, listen, she lived in Atlanta and I was living in New York at the time. Oh, you here now? And I, we, we, it was just some old back and forth shit like that. Yeah. And it, we weren't consistent. Okay. But she, so it was the distance that kind of separated. The it the wasn't distance, the energy. 100%. Like if I was in Atlanta, I, if I had a left Atlanta to come down south and do I what I'm doing New right York now, be with 85 South. and Your mind get, was undecided. I, I was undecided, misguided, and I was waiting on something else to happen for me up north. Yeah. I and feel if that. I would have just got them honed into that heart. shit. And can't ET phone like God been telling me to come home for a long you time. You was being disobedient. I was what you obedience is better than sacrifice, and you sacrificed instead of being obedient. 
and you held yourself out of a blessing. Do it again. You held yourself out of a blessing. Come on. <laughs> Just like that. That's what happened to me, bro. You know what? We all kind of like set ourselves back like that because I've been was supposed to move and follow my heart, follow the vision that God didn't show me. Mm. And it be fear, bro. Mm. I think fear blind. Fear of flying. You fear know, of flying. False evidence appearing real. It kind of like have us at a standstill. You know what I'm saying? And then when we, something probably happened to us and then we'd be like, sometimes anger make us go over like, fuck it, I'm gone. You fuck know what it, I'm saying? I'm... And then you'd be like, man, I should have been did this shit. Cause you start seeing everything falling in place. It'd be like a domino effect. So you realize, damn, I'm where I'm supposed to be. So that fear start to fade away. And now you walking on nothing but fate. That happened to me. That happened to all of us, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everybody go through that experience, man. So don't feel bad about it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, every time I think about this lady, it be making me want to cry. Real men cried. I did it on um, national TV. They thought I was soft, though. Like, when I... When I cry, I feel like if a if a if a human being don't cry, which I know every human being cry, but they try to act like they don't, probably go somewhere, you know, in a hidden area, you know, but it takes a real man to shed a tear mm. and don't care what nobody got to say about mm. it, bro. Mm. So if you have to cry, man, that's just probably be what you need. Mm. At the time, because mm. I know I needed it and it released me from how I was feeling. Mm. And I was able to like be, re I, I regenerated myself, you know what I'm saying? Renewed myself, you feel me? And because um, I was feeling remorseful, the reason, you know, why I cried. And um, once I let them tears out, bro, on national TV, on the Yala Fix My Life, because I was feeling remorseful about my pops dying, getting killed, you know what I'm saying? I didn't do what I said that I wanted to do for him, and he was depending on me, and I didn't follow through. And I couldn't get it dead, and he wound up getting killed, and that shit bothered me, you know what I'm saying? So when I went on the Yana Fix My Life, it was like she was bringing me back to my childhood, shit that didn't have me to the point where I was, being angry, you know, not um, being understanding with my wife, and having little, little, little minor problems, you know what I'm saying, but issues that led up to where we was at in our relationship and our marriage. We needed counseling, you know what I'm saying? And you'll go through so much shit, dog, and, and, and you won't realize that all this shit be affecting you, you feel me? So I'm saying this to say, if you got to cry, bro, like if, if you serious, let that shit out, man, you know what I'm saying? That shit probably be holding you back from another blessing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, dog, I cry every night about. It. I, what, every, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I do, man. I be. I, hey, dog, yeah. you ever you ever hear a nigga be talking about when you see him in an interview? I ain't got no regrets, nigga. I got regret. Yeah, I think nigga. I be, regret shit. Nigga be lying. I, I, used, I regret. I, used, I regret shit. Yeah, that's some real shit. Telling the truth now, hey, that's real. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It, it's a lot of shit that I wasn't supposed to do, man. For real. You know, and um, you know, th that's what that's why I really appreciate this interview right now too with with you, and because me and you been friends a long time, and we, and, uh, we always been able to keep it one hundred with ourselves, facts, and whatnot. And uh, you know, one thing I re uh, always respected about you is the accountability. I, you know what? I ain't always held myself accountable, bro. Wow, wow. It's it's a it's a. I didn't know that. It's a um. When I went to prison, right? You pointed the finger. I was pointing fingers until I started having those time in the cell by myself. And I was on 23 and 1 my first couple years in prison. You know what I'm saying? They said I was a, a security threat. I had attempted murder on a police officer. You know, they wanted to protect me or protect them. You know, however they felt like it. I stood locked down for 23 and 1, man, and I think it was their way 
to try to torture me, which I didn't let it do that because I looked at it like this is my time to get to know who I am. I was reading, I was studying, I was getting to know who God was, you know what I'm saying, getting a personal relationship. So it turned out to be a blessing. What they meant for bad for me, let me torture them. Let me, let me, let me, you know what I'm saying? They, they didn't know that that shit helped me out because if I would have went straight in there, I would have been on some bullshit. They had me like in a penitentiary part, you know what I'm saying? And it was like distance from population. But everybody in this unit, we probably had about 20 to 30 people in this unit. And everybody either had the debt penalty, life, a high profile case. But we was on 23 and 1. So everybody in the unit uh, come out, if you like, I was like a level seven, I believe, level eight or seven. You had six, seven, and eight, those levels. So you'll come out with your level. You see what I'm saying? And all of us was considered a security threat. But while I was locked down, dog, and I started reading and studying and really finding out who I was, I stopped pointing the finger at everybody else for shit that was going on in my life. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about everything. And um, when I started doing that, I just felt like my life started getting better. Things started happening. I started to see life for what it was. You know what I'm saying? And um, I was able to start counting my blessings. And um, everybody that I felt like probably, you know, who I was putting the finger at, I forgave them. You know what I'm saying? I was basically doing what the words say do. You feel me? I, 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 I walked on faith, and bro, it just made me a better person, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> made me a better person, like, 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 faith without works is dead, bro, and a lot of people can read, study, but you have to not only read and study, you have to put it in work, you know what I'm saying? Like, those instructions that you're getting, use them in your life, and that's what I did. And I continuously do that every day. You know, that's me striving for, for perfection every day. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I live my life, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's peaceful and it's simple. Life not hard no more for me. Real simple, real easy. And it's just that, <laughs> like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love that. I love that. I love that. Um, man, you Turk, you, like, um, I, I, this is what I want to ask you about right here. Now, there's something that you talk about when you get out of jail and, you know, nobody that you were affiliated with as, you know, the fans know it. Yeah. W rolled out the red carpet for you or nothing. You was just you, your old lady. And you just coming into regular life. I never hear you talk about that. The and one who just... was supposed to be there <clears throat> was there. If I wouldn't have got a relationship with God, I would have been a bitter man. But I was too happy because I got my freedom again. I came home to $500. And I wasn't sad. I wasn't mad. I had a lot of expectations, like any human to have. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Because in my mind, I didn't do anybody anything to not get a red carpet. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Now let me ask you this. Now from with the, from you now this is from your mind. Now once again, I'm, how old are you? I'm forty, I'm 40 years 41. old. Forty one. You forty one. Oh, yeah. we just a year apart. Yeah. All right. So. I'm your age, and I'm 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 a, I'm a big fan of the whole situation. Yeah. And when I hear about you going to prison, I'm shocked. Yeah. I I'm shocked like a motherfucker. Man, my my brother's shocked. Mm -hmm. that he's 11 months younger than me. Mm -hmm. And we don't understand how this even happened when you were on top of the world. Like I seen you at the Cash Money Rough Rider concert. All that at Phillips Arena. Yep. I, I was there. And I was rooting for you and cheering on like a motherfucker. Like, what, if 
and and you you we, we talked about accountability early what was people telling you to stop doing that you didn't stop doing that in hindsight you like you know what if i could do it all over again i wouldn't have fucked with that you know it was my drug addiction, bro, that, that that really was the root to all my problems. That's why I say accountability is a motherfucker. And, and did you know? I, did you know? At the time, I didn't know. I thought it was everybody else. But being in 23 and 1 let me know that it was my drug addiction. Because you got to think, I'm signed to Cash Money Records, Universal. This is a million a couple million dollar mm. company the ceos presidents they invest in it we are a, a investment you know um people that are investing their money their time their energy want to return on that and here i am fucking that up on my end because they never once told me, you need to go get loaded, you need to get high. It, they always was against, man, you need to leave that shit alone. Put me in rehabs, all that, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get me straight, get me right. Nigga, you need to get in that studio, you know, you need to go ahead on and do this, do that. All the right direction. Never mislead, you know what I'm saying? So, I wanted to be Turk, thugging. And drugging, you feel me? I love to get high. That was a, a, a great feeling. Being on heroin and cocaine was a good feeling. Like to this day, I love that shit so much to where I know if I do it, I'm gonna fall in love and I'm gonna say fuck everybody. That's why I don't do it because I love my family that much to say fuck the drugs. You know what I'm saying? And I love myself most importantly you know what i'm saying but i realized that that was my downfall i was living a reckless life bro which is the name of my movie screenplay you know um reckless and i talks about it all i my, i feel like my movie is like the modern day ray charles like when i watch the movie ray what charles bro <laughs> when, I, when, when i watch that movie he remind me of me but i feel like He's a Hollywood heroin addict in that movie. My movie, Reckless, is basically in the trenches, like The Wire. Mm. Like niggas in Baltimore and Philly and New Orleans. I'm talking about how niggas really be on that dope New York. You know what I'm saying? Like showing all these different reckless situations when I was on tour. You know, when I started at 14 and, you know what I'm saying? fighting these demons while being a superstar Sh putting a needle in my arm track marks on my arm to this day you know what i'm saying i show all of that in my movie bro like i i felt like the world need to see how it really is versus hearing how it is you know and I realized that everything that I went through, bro, it was like, it was God's will. You feel me? Like, I went through it, and I learned from my experiences. I'm here today. I'm clean, you know? And the only thing I could do now is tell my story. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing I could do. Um, Sometimes I wish that it would have turned out where well, I'd probably be sitting on a hundred million dollars right now. I could have been, but it could have been worse because I was on heroin and cocaine. So I'd be looking at all that, bro. Like, you know, if you was in a position to make yourself a, a hundred million dollar nigga once before, you could do it again. Because you had to put yourself in a position that time. So now I know who I am. I believe in me. I know a whole lot more than I've been than I knew then. You know what I'm saying? I got a, a, a great team with me. I got a beautiful wife who support me without without a doubt. I got a family. You know what I'm saying? I got I got I got I got a whole lot.
pushing for me, pulling for me now, bro. And um, I know who I am. You feel me? That's the whole thing, bro. Becoming aware of who you is. A lot of people right now out there are living with an identity crisis. Everybody is is chasing clout. You know what I'm saying? And, and the media is the drug. You feel me? So when I sit back and I look at all the people chasing this clout, I sit back and be like, I'm I don't chase clout. I am clout. Look, let me tell you what this nigga say. Who that? Academic. Oh shit. Now, 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 telling the truth is not hating, cause they they always take the words and be like, oh, you hating. So I gotta realize, I gotta really say that. I fuck with academic and I respect what you're don't hate the what you're you, doing. You, you I don't. Him. I'm you correcting, correcting him. He said all the OGs who were rappers had to be studio gangsters because. All the young G's rappers are the ones who really doing the killing. Now, I corrected him respectfully on Twitter. I'm like, man, listen, bro, you are part of the problem. See, what you're trying to do is create a narrative so you could continue to make money off of the ignorance, off of a old head going back and forth with the young head. Like, nah, nigga, we this, we that. But at the same time, it's also a police federal move that you're doing you know what i'm saying you haven't never smelt the field mm -hmm. at all i remember at one time academic used to uh, uh um not even show his face only thing you used to hear what the fuck is that so so now you gotta live money when these niggas get money they feel like they untouchable bro but when you plan with real people, bro, real things start to happen. But see what it is, a lot of these people who be disrespectful, they are protected by the police and the feds. So they say shit to try to create narratives and at the same time, clickbait. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm sitting down, I don't even have to, see they're not gonna come up here and sit down with no real one and be disrespectful. They never gonna do that. They gonna do it from a, 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 a computer. You know what I'm saying? They gonna talk all this gangster shit that they, 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 they don't even know how to spell it. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like, bro, like we all have a responsibility, bro. I have a responsibility. You know, I went to jail for attempted murder on the police. I'm not glorifying that shit. You know what I'm saying? Thank God I made it out. I did eight year, eight months, 16 days in the penitentiary. I'm not glorifying that shit. Thank God I made it out. I'm home now. I'm married with my wife. I love my wife. I'm faithful to my wife. My kids, I'm raising my kids. You know, people don't celebrate that. That's like, that's soft. That's lame to them. But this is the God way. You know what I'm saying? When you find a wife, you find a good thing and receive favor from God. You know what I'm saying? But they don't want the family to be a family, bro. And it's like, the media is just, it's a drug, bro. And I see so many people, everybody starting a podcast. Just because you got a podcast or you got a mic in front of your mouth, don't mean you're qualified to speak on things and it's stamped. You know what I'm saying? We gotta, we gotta, we gotta like be able to have a discerning spirit, bro. Not let the media Thank for us, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like 98% of the world do not think for themselves. That's bad, you know? And like I say, the diversion, those people, is only a selective few. And it's select individuals who are woke, bro. And we gonna get persecution. I'm gonna get persecution after this. Oh man, da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna continue on pushing the right message, bro. And I already know it's persecution behind that. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that's standing for what's right, you gonna be persecuted. And your persecution is crucifixion of your image. But the thing about me is, I'm not an image, I'm a personality. You know what I'm saying? My personality is my reality, so you can't turn my testimony into a mess of money. You know what I'm saying? You can't do it. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't know, bro. That's just my take on it. You know, I just feel like 
We need more people to stop losing by default and start speaking up, start standing up against things that's not right. It's your responsibility to do that. No, you want to all right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm with you. One hundred percent of the way, bro. One hundred percent of the way. Um, let's talk about um, Kanye and uh, uh, twenty. The the next election. Mm -hmm. You said he talked about this in twenty twenty four. Yeah, twenty twenty four. Uh, running for president again, and uh, you know, in the day and time that we're in, state of the union. All right. Would you be more comfortable voting for him? I mean, with, I with can't vote. Seen? I can't vote at all. Oh, I really? don't believe in Democrats or Republicans, right? You know, um, I'm a God-fearing man, bro. Like, I believe it's going to come a time when people not believing in Democrats or Republicans. They're going to believe in technocrats. Technocrats are people that are into the social media. It's going to come a time, and right now, if you look at how the world is going, social media is winning the election. Social media is winning the vote. Because if social media said at a, rep a repetitive um, pace, everybody believe in it. So they have got elected. You know what I'm saying? So Democrats, Republicans, it's not going to even have no say-so in a minute, bro. I believe they're going to suspend the Constitution and everything to where it's like every man for theyself. So right now what we have to be doing, bro, is getting as much information, new information, not the information that we was taught coming up, you know what I'm saying? Because we was taught a lot of lies and we have to have a renewing our mind. Only way you get that, the only way you change your life is by repetitions of new information, you know? You got to be around the right energy, bro. Like everything that's going on, you have to realize that it's all either good or bad, bro. You feel me? So if, if it's negative, you know it ain't for you. Hold on. Let's, let's go ahead and listen. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and uh, land this plane. If you have to go at the end of the day between Biden again or Kanye, what you want, where you going? Now, if it had to come between, what, what you if, gonna if I audience? had on some real, I, what you gonna I, tell your I, I audience go, to I do? go, I go with yay, cause one thing about the Republican side, right? What I notice, it is what it is. They gonna tell you A, B, C, D. Democrats, from what I've been seeing as I've been living, I tell you, but then when they get in there. I forget what they told you and be like, fuck how you feel about what I said. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's all politics. So ain't nobody for the people. You know what I'm saying? So the people got to be for themselves. You have to do your own thinking. You know what I'm saying? You got to learn how to think. Right now, everybody should be learning how to think for themselves. Because... If you think about it, who run CNN? Democrats. Who run Fox? Republicans. If you pay attention, they be like throwing shots and it's on all day. Fox, CNN, whatever you consuming, that's what you becoming. You have to learn to not consume what you are seeing the most. Learn how to think for yourself what's best for you. You know what I'm saying? It's all about survival, bro. And people who think for themselves always, for some strange reason, the crazy ones. You know why? Because the ones that are, 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 are running a show, the show, they going to make sure that you are considered crazy. Because they're not going to promote righteous, the right righteous. Did you see that Tucker um, interview anywhere? Like how everything, how, like how, how you saw that White Lives Matter shirt? No. You ain't see it. And when you try to post it, it's being shadow banned. 
That's why a lot of people who assumed don't know about that interview. And that's what's going on, bro. It's a lot of control through the media, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, like I teach my kids, my wife, to be independent thinkers, you know. Um, I only could raise them for, for so long, but then it come a time when they gotta think for themselves, you know. And um, I feel like that's, what, that's, the, that's, that's the way, bro. Like, we gotta be thinkers. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? For real. There's too many people that, that don't like you because of somebody else and what somebody else said. I haven't did you anything. What have I did you if you asked them? They couldn't even say, I just don't like you. You crazy than a motherfucker then. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's because you're not thinking for yourself. Somebody else thinking for you. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of that going on. A lot of it going on, bro. So the only way around it is to like sit back and analyze. Put yourself in 23 and 1. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of y'all are incarcerated in y'all mind. Anyway, you know, the only way you're going to be free is with the truth. Find some truth out there to free yourself. You feel me? No, I just thank God, bro, that that at 22 years old, I was able to sit down and see life ahead, you know, see the vision that he given me, you feel me, and walk in it, you know, and that's, that's, that's what I do, bro, like every day. That's why I'm at peace, you know what I'm saying? God is the author of peace, not confusion, dog. Like, you got to know the difference. I don't want to be around nothing that's negative. I'm not participating in that energy, man. I'm thugging, taking hardship, using God's gift in spite of negativity. Yeah. 100% Turk. Yo, man, I, I, I really respect everything that you talk about right now, man. And I'm so happy for you and, and the growth and whatnot. And then this spurt that's going on. And when I uh, seen you on Drink Champs and you talking about you had, I, I, I got money. I got money now. I got money now. <laughs> yeah. Bruh, you want a law, you want a lawsuit, bruh? Man, you know, man, hard work, That's bro. real? That's hard, real? Hard work. Hey, when you, hold on, hard, when you said it on Drink Champs, hard before work. you, before you even answer, when you said that shit on Drink Champs, I was so inspired. <laughs> yeah. I cried out my good eye. <laughs> I was like, it's going to happen for me. Yeah. God did it for him. It could happen for me, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the adversity that you done went through and whatnot, and, and, and you got your justice, dude. You, yeah. it, even if it was a couple dollars short, you, you still got a break. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of niggas never get a break. Yo, yo, what's up? What's up, man? Hey, you know what time it is. Yo, Wiz, bring it down, baby. Now, this is my favorite part of the show right here, man. I love this segment. This is called the food stamp segment. That's when we stamp in the food right now, and we about to eat it like some groceries. You hear me? I scoured Instagram, and, you know, I be, I be going across people's pages and stuff. Yeah, I really do that because it can happen to you. And uh, I was sold when I found Chef Sales. Hey, man, y'all give it up for the one and the only Chef Sales coming to the new Jack Thriller City show. Let's go. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Oh, what's up, baby? What, what we got going on? What's going on, man? Man, chilling, chilling, man. Hey, so tell me about what's going on right here, baby. All right, man. So what you got right there? So of course, you know, uh, from Louisiana, mama of Louisiana. So you got that dirty rice. Okay. You got some lamb bruschetta. That right there is a basil presto. That's what we got as far as um, salmon, blackened salmon. Excuse me. We got crab cakes, and then we got a lettuce wrap for you. As far as just chicken. Um, uh, carrots, blueberries, and a little bit of avocado ranch as well. All right, so walk me through this, man. Now, what am I about to do right here? So your fork is under that dirty rice, so okay. I'm going to let you go ahead and taste that. That's nothing but authentic flavor as far as a Louisiana twang to it. Got that season, got that kick. You know, it stay on your tongue and, you know, smooth into the palate. That's all it is. Yeah. Yeah, so what we got over there, that's just a little crab cake. 
Okay. And uh, so you just got a lettuce, a lettuce roll as far as uh, chicken, carrots. This the crab cake right here? Uh-huh. Talk to me about crab cake, because I don't really do crab cakes like that. Uh, okay. How you like that? Okay. Let's start. I think I like crab cakes now. <laughs> I, okay, this is amazing, bro. Appreciate it, bro. So huh? if I come over here, now you're gonna like that. That's that blackened salmon I was telling you about. Black we got a basin and pesto on, as far as on the bread. Okay. Go ahead and try that. Hold on. You got bread on here too at the same yeah. time? Yeah. It's, bre <laughs> it's bread on my salmon. Oh, yeah. All that, man. It's, a, it's another form of bruschetta, but what we do is have a, a basil pesto as far as green tomatoes, basil is what I mix some type of um, spices too. And uh, blackened salmon and mm -hmm. just a little bit of a zombie vinegar glaze on top. Um. How did you put this meal together right here? What you saw this at? Man, I, you know, I just put some don't things lie. together. Don't no, lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. It's just like, I always set myself, how can you be different? So instead of like a bruschetta, like what else can you put on there? And so that's why you got that lamb on there. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. Mm. Yep. <laughs> that's good. That's good. I don't mean to be great. No, nah, that's good. That's, that's, that's a good thing. Go ahead. No, that's on point. <laughs> Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And well, how, how do they get at you, Sale? So any assistant as far as catering, uh, you can hit up my Instagram, and that's Sales Cajun Cooking, S-E-L-L-S, -L -L -S, Cajun Cooking, C-A-J-U-N-C-O-O-K-I-N-G. And like I said, uh, we can just, I cook from, I tell all my clients, I cook from chitlins to caviar, so it ain't no limits whatsoever. Um, but yeah, just hit up my Instagram, Sales Cajun Cooking, that's what I do. Authentic Louisiana Cajun Cuisine. Even though, Nick, you, you, you on your, you, you ever, it, it, if it was ever such thing as what boxers call a second win. Yeah. You done caught your second win. I'm blessed, bro. I'm blessed, man. I, I just wanna, that's why you never see me bashing my brothers. Like you'll have like the media trying to say, ah, oh, he's saying this about them, but you never see me bash my brothers, and I'm talking about my cash money brothers. I tell my stories because mm -hmm. we have stories. Mm -hmm. But to be in the media, man, that bitch ass nigga, man, that, man, fuck all that. You know what I'm saying? You never saw me do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Find it. And and the biggest thing too, in what you're saying right now, is what nigga got to understand is too. And, and I say this all the time. Bruh, y'all was kids. Yeah. Every like, day. everybody was undeveloped, and they were figuring out what this shit even was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, even when at the, the point when you went to jail, you was a kid. I went to jail at 22 years old. You was a kid, bruh. And got out at 32. Man, when I was 22, you know what the fuck was going, nigga? I was going through my first heartbreak. Yeah, I had just got burnt real good and whatnot. And you know what I'm saying? The girl, this girl had gave me some shit. Had my dick peeling <laughs> like a banana. <laughs> I've what? been there before, bro. I, 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 I mean, I ain't get burnt, but I caught the motherfucking crabs before. You, you, but you, you was you raw in fans? I like, raw dog a couple. I raw dog fans. Yeah, I used to raw dog. Raw fans? dog, baby. Fans. Hey, you know when you young, you play Russian roulette. I didn't play Russian roulette. Fans. Yeah. I mean, you ain't no fan if you if you come into the room and you let me go in. Hey, you know what? I ain't gonna even front. That ain't no fan. I, I, Cause I, I didn't have fans that didn't came. I'm no. I'm not. I'm just. I just want a picture. I didn't have those that stand like that, but then you got groupies. You got fans and you got groupies. That's different. Yeah, yeah it's different. That's different. Cause yeah. I got fans that that work with me today. That my they went from fans to being business partners, mm. and it's never nothing sexual. And I got over 105 people in my agency who are fans. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you got groupies and you got fans. Yeah, it's a big difference. I ain't gonna. Even, I, I fucked a couple of fans in the ass. No, you fucked some groupies in the ass because you can't fuck no fans. No, a group group is in the ass. A fan is not gonna let you fuck. They got yeah. you. You gonna have. To, they gonna make you respect them. Hey, you know that. That's what it is. Then I'm glad. You a fan is a friend, always, never shaded. That's what fans are. 
friend, friend always, always never, never shady. shady. Fans. Got. So that'd be shady if she knew you got a girl, because most of us do. And I'm a fuck you, cause fuck that, you Jack Thriller. She shady, so she can't be no fan. She's a groupie. She go from you to the next group to the next group, and that's what she do. Mm. She a pass around. She a toast. Mm. You know what I'm saying? She did, don't got no feelings. Did, oh, did you did you know how to filter them back then? Yeah. And whatnot. Oh, cause okay. they gon' they gonna come out and they gonna say it. Oh, now, so fans now, say some, it. Yeah, some, I want to suck your you, dick. Now groupies be like. Because I be like, I, mean, for, I be like, back then I be like, man, what's up, man? What, you fucking a sucker. That's all I like to say. Because I don't have, I had a girlfriend at the time. So I'm not having no relationships with y'all. Is you fucking a sucking? That's the two, that's the question. If you come into my room at three, four in the morning, you fucking a sucking. I, 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 next. Next. I'm saying, that's how I go. Like, that's how it was, bro. You know what I'm saying? So. I mean, what else could we do? Like, what else? <laughs> you fucking or you sucking? Because I ain't sucking. I might fuck you, but I ain't going to suck you. 100%. 100%. Now, I ain't never ate a groupie. Have you did that before? You a nasty, <laughs> you a nasty little worm. <laughs> Bro, that's nasty, bro. If y'all niggas out there eating groupy pussy, what about, I, I ain't gonna say her name because, you know, they be suing you and shit now. Nah. But that girl who was running through the industry, bro, and I got a chance to see how and uh, who she was, but I'm like, damn, y'all was getting filmed by her? I was in jail when this little epidemic, you can say her name, but I'm not gonna say it because they might sue me. I got money now. You know what I'm saying? But, oh, oh, this girl, yeah. I mean Y'all, you just playing me like I'm nah, broke? Nah, I'm not saying you broke. I know I you am. Pro- I'm broke. You, you I'm probably broke. don't give a fuck to say it. Yeah, I'm I do. I'm, I'm broke. I right. do. So what I'm saying is, no. when you know you got money, you I don't, don't do some shit. I don't want to get negative. Okay, well, you ain't going to do it neither negative then, because you broke. know better. But this girl that was going around filming all the rappers, and it's like she was just catching them slipping and putting them on tape, and she was famous for this shit. And oh, when Superhead. I, not her. It was another one. It went after Superhead? It was another one. Then when I seen how she looked, I'm like, damn. That's that? Bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> she, she, she might be dead. I don't know. Yeah, yeah she might be. I ain't heard from her in a minute. Ooh, boy, I was like, God damn. These <laughs> niggas, bro, these niggas got two more money. To be, and then they, they had that money. Y'all got two more money hey, to she, be playing she, like hey, listen, that, bro. Me and Cat Stat were friends. I ain't gonna be friend. Mm, we, mm, we, mm. we, 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 we were friends. You hit that. Huh? You hit that. You boy, you a fool, boy. <laughs> you so crazy. <laughs> yeah, man. So like we Hey, we didn't broadcast that back to the motherfucker. Hey, hey, I ain't see it. <laughs> but <Yeah>. you know, <laughs> bro, these dudes, these dudes crazy, man. Hey man, I don't know why. Hey man, I'm know. glad I'm married I'm now. I'm grown now. I'm glad I'm married now. Okay, I, you feel me? And I'm 41. I used to be retarded. I was retarded. God had didn't like, deliver me like, from being retarded. Like me and Wayne had a song called "Toss a Bitch," right? Okay. Toss a bitch, toss a bitch, nigga. You know how we do. If the bitch fuck me, then the bitch fuck you. Toss a bitch, toss a bitch, nigga. You know how we plan. If the bitch fuck Turk, then the bitch fuck Wayne. Now I love it when I fuck niggas, old ladies, have niggas babies. These hoes crazy, me and my nigga Weezy forever tag team, and nigga we titty fucking in they face, we shoot and seem, and I can't help it if we got it like that. And I like it when they let us hit that ass from the bag. We be loving that. I fuck like, let me see, seven hoes a week. So Wayne, he must fuck like seven hoes a week. Now I play it from here and from the back, jacking off and getting head. We just were gone, we were running that shit. It was called Toss a Bitch though. That was me and Wayne, like, 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 me and that nigga there, bro, in my book, The Auto Thug, I Can Feel Turk, I got a chapter in there called Cash Money Churn, and, um, 
it's a whole chapter. It's just about me and Wayne, all the shit that we done been through, all the bitches we done ran through, you know what I'm saying? Shit that we did while we was on the road, you know? A whole lot of things that I think people will love to, to know, you know, because I'm so transparent, you know what I'm saying, about my life, dog. I got my book. Whatever you don't get in the book, you're going to get in the movie. Reckless, you know what I'm saying? And the documentary, 52 Bullets, you know, which is the shootout with the police. You know, um, I'm just telling my story, bro. I'm just telling my story, man. Like, I feel like a lot of the world's so sensitive when, when, when people are telling their truth, when people are telling their testimony, the world like to turn it into a mess of money. Like, do you go through that? Like, when I'm trying to be honest, I'm giving y'all, because I feel like now your fans are close to you now. Like, social media, you know, you can really, like, have a heart-to-heart. -heart. You can talk to them. They DM you, and, you know, they be telling me all kind of shit. So sometimes you feel like, okay, you told me this shit. Let me tell you this. You know what I'm saying? So I think being open to people that fuck with you, bro, they deserve that. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not ashamed of anything, you're not embarrassed of anything, and you have grown and learned from it, it may be something that can teach and help somebody else. So that's where I'm at in my life, dog. Like, this is nothing to bash anybody, anything that I say in any interview. It just be my experience to help somebody else that's going through the experience, you feel me? Because they don't be knowing no way out, you know? So even talking about the groupies, Everybody know I'm married now. There's no disrespect to my wife. She be, when 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 she hear me talking about some of this shit, she be like, God damn, nigga, I ain't know you were like that. She be wanting to hear these stories. So she love when I do the interviews because she learned on some more shit that she didn't know. You know what I'm and, saying? And then on top of that, you got, got to expect that. Yeah, come on, man. Got to, got to expect that, you know, know what I'm saying? I asked her, because she was a hot girl. I'm like, what's one of the hot boys you like? And she always, but she gonna say me, but I think she liked the BG, you know what I'm saying? You know, she was a hot girl, you know, she used to wear the hot girl airbrush on her and stuff, you feel me? <laughs> she was a fan, you feel me? I had the airbrush Yeah, first. yeah they had the airbrush, you know what I'm saying? God damn. Yeah, so, you know, it, it's crazy though, man, but, man, man, my girl, a good girl though, man, like. She, she an bro, amazing woman, man. Bro, like, like, my girl. <laughs> Man, you look, did, you did good. I, your girl, I got your, blessing. Your, your girl is like this, the same as um, Keisha, is, Keisha Kior, Kior. Oh, uh, Gucci girl. Okay, okay. I, I I wasn't gonna do that, but I was. <laughs> I wasn't gonna do that. Yeah, but I understand. What she love Gucci. This. She love Gucci. Got you. Yeah. yeah. It's the love. I, I would. I, I was going to. I was going to say that she. Um, is so ride or die. She ride. It's ride, ride, or, ride die. or live. Oh, yeah. At life and <laughs> life and death is in the power of the tongue. She ride or live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But hold on. But why did you say like Keisha Kiyo? What, what what made you say that? I respect their relationship. Like how they go hard for each other. It's the it's the I'm going hard for my nigga. Fuck what you talking about. Gucci go hard for his girl. Fuck what you talking about. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of people that's against that. You know what I'm saying? You have people that's jealous of your union, bro. Like, people are really jealous that you have somebody that's um, loyal to you. Yeah, yeah. You know? Like, dudes be jealous of relationships that are solid. They would prefer you to fuck with a bitch or a hoe that everybody didn't fuck with than to have somebody that's solid who don't have no baggage. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying my girl ain't 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 fuck with other niggas, but it ain't too many niggas came to the light and like niggas you know do not saying? want the best for you at all. Yeah, nah. At all. Nah, they don't niggas want love to see you with a hoe. Man, they want it makes too much sense. They don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to have something that cook for you, rub your back, you know, rub your I mean, bathe you, you know, all that shit there, man. Like, they don't want you to have nobody like mama. You know when you love your mama, they call your mama's boy. So they don't they don't want nothing. They don't want you to have love. But they claim they got love for you. My mama ain't never bathed me and rubbed my back. Man, my mama used to rub my back and do every damn thing when I was a kid. 
Your mom ain't never been put you in the tub and and and, and wash you off and shit. God damn. No, she told me the bathroom was over there. And Ooh, you your here. mama had no touch with you. My mama, my aunt. I felt the love for my mama, you know what I'm saying? Even when I was on my... She be trying to bathe me now, but it's too, old, it's too late. I don't want that. That nigga that stupid, weird man. now. Like, why, why are you butt naked, too? I don't... Come on, man. It, make, man, it don't make crazy, no man. sense to but, me. But, you know, moms, bro, like, when you find that girl that's like moms, come on, man, like, that's, that's love, bro. It's... And God is love, so you know I, I think it just be niggas don't want you to have genuine love, and they want you to really like think that they got more love for you than your girl, cause your girl gonna always tell you, man that nigga ain't straight, he ain't this. She gonna be warning you, telling you about all the cutthroat shit that they got going on. Some niggas don't listen to their girl. A lot of niggas didn't lost their life by not listening to their fucking girl, dog. Your girl told you don't go outside or you was in the bed with your girl. Nigga call you and you left from, from being, nigga, you in a room with a, a big, fine, soft-bodied woman. You go out with some niggas, man, and a lot of niggas didn't lost their life like that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey my girl told me Borna was a child molester and I just cut her off. I saw Bernie got a um, documentary or something coming. And they, 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 they I, I didn't, don't quote me on it, but it's a documentary. So whatever it was and whatever he was, I love you. You love me. You know, you're going to see you what he was. What you trying to tell me, Turk? I don't what know is, what he what was you doing. To tell me, sir? They, they say he had something going on, but I just saw the preview. So we just got to wait and see what they say. But then again, the media, like, I don't believe everything that come across the TV screen, bro. You know, because everybody trying to get clickbait for their content. Yeah. And it's crazy because they are paying you for the negative shit more than they paying you for the positive shit. But we got to change that narrative. Yeah. If we put, if we continuously stick together and put the the, the positive image out there, they're going to realize that they got work to it. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. I believe we got to just stop being impatient. You know, a lot of us be impatient and we feel like we got to do this. We got to be controversial all the time. We got to come with the bullshit all the time to stay in the media. Bro, I'm not, it's easy for a person to verse their opinion on everything that go across the timeline. And you're going to stay in the media. Man, I don't want that type of attention, dog. You know what I'm saying? I want to make a difference. When I do interviews, I want people to be like, bro, I respect that. Every, and every time I do an interview, that's what they say. It might not be a million people every time. But long as it's touching somebody, I did my job. Because God is the one that make it do what it do anyway. And I'm aware of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't need all that negative response, bro. You know, all my interviews be getting positive ratings, not bots. You know what I'm saying? So I'm cool with that. That means I'm in the right energy. Yeah, the, the right. You feel me? The right so pocket, I'm period. I'm cool with that, bro. I'm yeah. cool with that. I'm not... I'm not chasing clout, dog. That, fuck that. Lastly, let's talk about these y y your products, yeah. man. We got the Auto Thugography of Turk, which is my book. It's already book. out. That's out. You go to lulu.com and you get it directly from me. You get a signed autograph if you get it from me. Um, you you got the uh, audio book for two for visual. I'm about to do. People? I'm about to do the audio book because I um I got a situation where I'm about to do my documentary and they want me to do the audio book. So it could be a double whammy, you know what I'm saying? Makes sense. Um, yeah. Hey, bro. It's going to make a lot I'm, of sense. I'm, I'm an audio book guy. I buy yeah. audio books. I listen to audio books every night. Every okay. night. You got to check out Behold a Pale Hearse if you didn't. I Witten the Devil. Thank and Grow Rich. The Secret, The Greatest Secret, The Richest Man in Babylon. All these different books help you to think on a level where they're not thinking. We got to talk more. This dirt. is, yeah, we, we got to talk enough, bro. Now, yeah, we got to. We got to at least once a week, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause if you I, don't mind. I consider you as a friend, bro. Like, like real. When you call me, and I got to get this out there, bro, because there's a lot of people been calling me, man, and paying me to do interviews. And a lot of people been chasing the clout from, you know, me going viral. A lot of people took it out of context, thinking that it was this and it wasn't. It all was a learning experience, however they took it. But. When you call me, you call back. They're like, man, 
bro, we need to change it up. Like, what else do you want to talk about that we haven't talked about? You know what I'm saying? And this is something that we haven't talked about. Like, I felt like we having a, a, a real genuine conversation and we just being taped for the world. You know what I'm saying? That's what I feel like get the most respect. You know what I'm saying? And I got a lot of respect for you, bro, because you could have been like everybody else chasing what was hot. You know what I'm saying? You never been like that, Jack. And I, I think that separates you from a lot of people that doing what you doing, bro. You know what I'm saying? And if you ain't getting your flowers, just know I'm giving them to you. You know what I'm saying? Because, bro, you've been the same since I met you. You got great personality. A nigga know when you joking. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. When you can know when a person joking is respecting still, bro, that's 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 great. You are not no image, nigga. You a personality, and your personality is your reality. You know what I'm saying? So long as you keep on doing that, bro, you got my support anytime, dog. And nigga, your blessings is on the way if they ain't already here, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just they on the way stay where you at, bro. Yeah. Stay where you at. Keep doing what you're doing. You're in a bigger facility, nigga, so you growing. You started out when I first saw you when, when I interviewed me, you had one person. So count your blessings because people don't have no team. You know what I'm saying? Some people doing this shit playing all roles, have all the hats. You've been there before. I've been there. You know what I'm saying? So to have a team, that is a blessing, dog. And a lot of niggas don't, 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 don't give props to their team. You know, cause you need your team. Man, I, hey, I love you know, y'all. For real, you need it. I appreciate I love y'all. It. I appreciate the team, man. Y'all, hey, hey, I love y'all. Y'all know that, right? I appreciate the team, bro. I care about y'all. Real talk. We ain't I'm nothing shit. without you. We ain't shit without the team. Y'all my left eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> real life. Real life. So keep doing what you're doing, bro. And I think a lot of people don't tell people how good they are, you know, when they are. Some people try to like, you know, tell them if they trying to get something from them. Mm -hmm. But bro, we got to start really like uplifting each other and having each other back, bro. Like for real, for real. Because the, the, the reality of it is the law of attraction is obedient. If we giving out a lot of love, we going to get that shit back. All that shit we think and thought was love wasn't love. No, nah, it wasn't love. You know what I'm saying? That's why we ain't get it back. Mm. We giving out genuine love to the wrong motherfuckers that ain't getting it back because it's not supposed to be given back from those people. So I understand that now. So when it don't come back, dog, it ain't meant. And I ain't chasing it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And that's how I live my life, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. And I keep on doing what I'm doing, bro. Like, I'm around who I want to be around. You feel me? Mm. I ain't forcing nobody. That is right there, mm -hmm. man. And we didn't, we, but we didn't get on these the spices, right? Hey, now. them seasonings, I like them hot.com. Y'all can go there. Man, listen, man, you can use them as a dry rub. Oh, uh, you can season your food. I'm talking about seafood, chicken, burgers, pork chops, All like they pork. All food. Anything you're putting in your stomach. You can season with it and don't need no other season. My favorite is the spicy garlic. Now, even though it may say spicy, it's not hot. By me being from New Orleans, I like them hot. People always like Cajun and they think Cajun mean hot, but you got Cajun mild, you got Cajun spicy, you got Cajun extra hot. You know what I'm saying? This is just right. It won't burn your mouth. It will taste. I'm talking about the, 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 the ingredients are... My wife came up with these ingredients, bro. She blended these ingredients and she blended them the first batch herself. You know what I'm saying? They went out and people loved it. We, of course, got a blender now to do them. You know what I'm saying? But this stuff is made from love, from scratch, bro. One day I was just sitting down and my wife is a marketing genius. She's very smart. She do a lot of stuff behind the scenes. She make you better. She came up with that. Like, you need to do your own season. I like them hot. And you know, I'm, I'm known, that's my, my hit song. I like them hot, the ones that don't tell me to stop. That's my classic verse. Bam, we came with the seasoning. I'm about to have my own chips, hot sauce, a whole lot of stuff, but these are the first. Um, and it's not on the, the, the Rap Snacks brand? No, it's, it's on the My brand. Damn, Independent, okay. everything. First of all, independent is the new way, man. You know what I'm saying? See, we gotta stop thinking that we need a major to be major independent, to be major. 
Independent is the new major. You feel me? Long as you think, you can grow rich. You know what I'm saying? You got to think and grow rich. Napoleon Hill shit, where the determination is the way to be found. You know what I'm saying? I got my book, the auto thug, I can feel turp. I got my seasoning. I got my record label. I'm a manager, YNT management. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Chopper Boy, my artist from Birmingham. You know what I'm saying? He on house arrest right now, nigga. You need to, you know what I'm saying? Get right. You feel me? Um, I got my movie, Tyler Perry. I'm out here in Atlanta. You know, I got a great script. I need to holler at Tyler Perry. We both from Louisiana. I'm throwing my shot. I'm believing in God that after this interview, I'm going to meet Tyler Perry because I feel like like God been put it on my heart to move to Atlanta. I was disobedient for years. I moved in a pandemic and got down here, and I say when I get off on Tyler Perry exit, I'm going to Tyler Perry studio. So when I walked in here today, I saw Jason Weaver talking to you, and he said something about film. So I move off of energy. I text my girl. You know, I'm, I'm going to let you know. I text my girl, and I say, I say, I say, um, hold up, I'm about to tell you, bro. Cause like, 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 don't mind, nah, nah, nah. hold up. You pull it down, dog. Uh, bam, bam, bam. I say, he talking about filming, and he in ATL. My wife say, oh, okay. I say, talk. He talking about Tyler Perry. You know what I'm saying? So me and her going back and forth while y'all talking, cause she know my vision, she know my, she know what I'm got going on, right? And I took that, and when he say he in Atlanta, you say you in Atlanta, y'all were like, man, let's work, let's all us put together, like, bro, God is not putting us all in Atlanta for all the same reasons, cause we see the big picture. Even the people in Atlanta knew they been knew. That's why they never had discard. They always stuck together, and you see the success of all them dudes. Now you got people from the outskirts out coming in. Bro, Atlanta is the new Hollywood, bro. It, it really is. You know, I just wish that people start thinking for themselves and stop letting the media divide because as long as they divide, they're going to keep conquering. You know what I'm saying? And that's their main goal is to stay in control. But you're a grown-ass man, man. Stay in control and be self-controlled. And that's what I got to say, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I got a lot of work. My documentary, 52 Bullets, you know, coming soon about my situation with the police. A lot of people think I just went out and shot it out with the police on some gangster shit. Nah, it was a lot of corruption that went on with that. They didn't knock and announce. I thought I was being robbed, you know? And yeah, I did shoot, but I didn't intend to kill no police. You know, but I was charged with two attempted murders. Wound up getting 22 years. And um, I did my time, man. Gave some of my time back by the grace of God. And that story need to be told because there's a lot of people. You know, shout out to Breonna Taylor family. You know what I'm saying? I understood what she went through. Them people not knocking and announcing, bro. You know, so uh, it's a lot of stuff. And I feel like a lot of us go through stuff to make situations better, to shed light on certain things. And obedience is better than sacrifice. No matter how much persecution I go through, I'ma continue on doing what's right, bro. I'm not focused on nothing else. Nope. Hey, Turk, man, I love you, man. And I really appreciate you coming through the New Jack Thriller City Show, man. Is there anything you wanna tell, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the loyal citizens of this show? Yeah, man, I appreciate New Jack Thriller City. Y'all already know. And he said, I got the, the theme the song. City. The theme song. Yes. The theme song. So y'all be expecting Oh, you, oh, you going to. I got you. you, you, you so you, you submitting that. Hey, listen. On the episode, on, you make. On the episode, I'm making the, you know, song. Y'all make sure y'all go stream that I Got Money Now single out right now. Video coming soon, you know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to that boy, um, Black and Mild, you know, um, Charlie Hustle, you feel me? Imani, um, Pink, you know, Pink on the hook, you feel me? Yeah, man, we got pink, a whole Pink, the white girl? Pink. 
Yeah. The white girl. Yeah. So shout out to everybody, man. Pink, you know the pink, the pink, the white shout girl, Shout out bro. to everybody that. Oh, no, no, pink nigga. The, don't pink, do that. Pink no, the No, nigga. You know pink, the white girl, it's, bro. It's pink, the white girl. I like pink. Yeah. Yeah. So. I like, used to like, jerk off the pink, man. man stop it, man. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. Anyway, man. You know, that's it, man. I'll make sure y'all support the brand. You YNT. know pink, bro. YNT, man. All right. Yeah. New Jack City. New, New Jack, Jack Thriller. Thriller City. Make sure y'all go tune in, man, and hit that share. You know, Pink. Like, and Channel right. 85. You did. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yo, yo, Wiz, take yeah. us on now. Yeah. Man, you know, Pink, bro. <laughs> that shit great. <laughs> that nigga saying it. Nigga. <laughs> 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 <laughs>